Team 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia. And one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Fania Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's eastern cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. And a welcome everybody to yet another Roulette Rivals 12 winners bracket round one match between Gorg and Peter Dutton. Um, yeah, early morning in Europe still, but uh, I am joined for this shoutcast by the one and only Infrafun. Welcome. If I can be heard, then hello everyone. I ho certainly hope so. I certainly hope <laughs> my audio settings are all correct. Um, as always, if there's anything wrong with the audio settings, anybody's too silent too loud please just let me know um first for the first time ever i actually have to start both of players streams because twitch wanted me to confirm that i'm watching mature content and youtube just be youtube easy like that uh it's a black screen for me as well on peter's side ah uh, probably just a crash ah yeah start. okay there it is now yeah uh, he did manage to load in just in time, roughly, for the match. Spin around in first sec uh, five seconds. Uh, first map, Mumbai, picked by Gorg. And for fun, do you want to go ahead and run down the spin for us? Sure thing. So we are starting with Vazir Kali, the Maelstrom, with Shotgun in the suit. Vanya Shah is Fiber Wire as the Painter. And Tabu Jenkin is Silent SMG as a Thug. Ooh. I guess we got a get good kill on the Maelstrom here. With the suit, yeah. you can just do the... Skywalk start and instantly get him there. Um, I guess Darwood Silent SMG Thug also like not too terrible, but I guess Vanya Firewire painting is both life kill and the painter's disguise. So you do have to get into the tower. Um, at some point would be maybe worth just checking out if uh, or considering killing Darwood in the tower while you're there, anyways. Yeah, it's an interesting mix of kills. I mean, Mia's jumpsuit shotgun will be free, and I think Gorg will uh, showcase it before I finish my sentence. Dawood is definitely on the easier side because the thug and yes, the brief strat just line up so well with him. But uh, life kill as the opposite target disguise will probably take a bit to get there. But uh, yeah, we'll see. At least one, one tough kill for his first spin of the day. Indeed, both players loading in. Quite simultaneously, took a bit in loadout, but I guess that's uh, to be expected with like a long map like this one. Um, yeah, as we see, Gorg did start the Skywalk start and is just running towards the Maelstrom, and I assume just gonna has a shotgun in that briefcase, and we'll just take care of him right here. Yeah, it is indeed a two target Mumbai. It's <laughs> <As laughs> called Lonely says in chat, uh, and you know lately it's been said that. This or that start can be more optimal for different kills and targets and stuff. But, I mean, if it's just suit and firearm for the Maelstrom, then it's always going to be uh, the Skywalk. That's the first three start from Peter. Indeed, and the first kill from Gorg, who did get the shotgun Maelstrom shield down right away. And, uh, yeah, Peter is replanning a bit, 
changing his stash up. To now incorporate a snail. Haven't seen that in a while. Yeah, that is useful for Mumbai and especially the Tawud ISOs. I guess there is still only really two ways to uh, get this isolation done, either at the start in the tower with some emetics or it's going to be the snail at the very end of the spin. So I think we see the latter. Mm, could be, yeah. But I mean, with the do have to get into the um, in the into the tower anyways, but I guess choice is free for everyone. Peter Dunn also picking up a free Vazir kill and will now move on um, to the next kill. I did ju do just realize we don't have player audio. I'm <laughs> not sure if that's my setup or if that's just them not having no audio. Let's see. I can hear some from Peter, so I'm and I can see some on the OBS from Gog, so. Hmm. Should be able to find a bit. Gorg is getting the oh, type disguise. Set of negative infinity. That certainly Ooh. doesn't help. <laughs> that silence, yeah. It's gonna be hard to overcome that filter. Alright, now we got a bit of sound from Gorg as well. So I, it's going to be interesting to see if Gorg wants to do the the big strat anytime soon because it will move Vanya as well and we don't really have the disguise nearby. <laughs> Gorg is going to play the Manifesto, one of the five. I don't think I've seen it in Ruland before, just <laughs> pressing the item. I was I was already curious who's talking in the background there for Gorg, <laughs> and that, that, that makes perfect sense with the Manifesto. Um, yeah, not sure if he's doing Brickler or if he's just doing this to grab a Thug, maybe? N now I would say that... He just set up the side disguise and even KO'd the food vendor for, I guess, easier NPC manipulation. But now he's gonna get the painter, and with the brick in hand, he still uh, summon both Dawood and Vanya. Mm, I guess that also makes sense, just get the, um, get the painter, go out and then use the Brickler to get Vanya out of her secluded area to do the 5 wire kill a bit easier. Yeah, but this probably also means that I would won't be eliminated in the tower because, of course, Gorgo already had the tag disguise. Just uh, decided not to, not to take uh, make, take it to the tower. It's a low strength, but very nicely done. And, uh, gonna get the first tower disguise, which will eventually land in the painter. Neat. Um... Yeah, in the meantime, Peter, that we can see like pretty similar stuff so far. Just a uh, couple, couple minutes behind. I also just realized I think you're way ahead on Gorg's stream for me, so let's just, I'm just gonna refresh that for a second. Yeah, I think we just jumped a bit. There is now taking the uh, Pedro's disguise. <laughs> yeah, I guess they spoil it like and see it <laughs> now that uh, you were like 30 seconds behind, but yeah, no worries. It's uh, kind of straightforward here in the tower. And uh, with the two bodies probably hidden, I guess the gold one needs to hide one and check the other. Yeah, I mean, it's now all these guys is for the spin. Realistically, nobody goes in there anyways, do they? On their own? Uh, no, no, not without the mission story and bringing that wood inside and uh, all that kind of stuff. So, probably safe either way. And yeah. It's Gorg. So interestingly enough, we can literally see Peter Dutton doing like something similar, do, using a different path to get into the tower, but as well, he did KO the thug outside, I think, and did is now with the holy man on his way into the tower to grab the painter. Yeah, that's really nice to see going from the outside. I think it's a bit more climbing to do, but definitely doable from the outside. I think Peter just wants a... Also, any window to get inside, although this room really seems quite busy, judging by the minimap. I didn't even know there was a, a ledge out here that you can climb. <laughs> I didn't know it was this expanded, but uh, yeah, it's really, really helpful to go around certain areas. As Gorg will begin now, the Brickler gets or uses the cauldron. Closer to Vanya. Oh, it's gonna be really close to Peter as well now. Just 
right through the bunch of NPCs there. Seems fine. There's no painter in this room, but can get a dancer soon enough. Yeah, I guess just a legal disguise to move around the the tower a bit more freely. Yeah, or I guess not the dancer, but rather one of the Bollywood crew members. The first throne roll won't work out, but I think the sink will definitely summon someone. We shall see. There it is. Need to only be careful with the mirrors. I think there are some behind the sinks. Yeah, definitely has to stay crouched and maybe hope for the best. Okay, with the throw from there, that should be fine. Gorg will now do this, uh, I guess, triple KO into Vanya kill. Very important to do this in the right order, but I think people are very familiar with this right now by then. I'd assume so, with the amount of rifts we've gotten from this in the past. Um, <laughs> most people, I think, do know now how to, which order we are to KO the people. Uh, but yeah, that's the second kill for Gorg, and Brickler is still in play. He just needs to run over, grab the third disguise, and then somehow kill Dawood. Yep, uh, don't remember if Gork has a snail or not, but probably should be. Um, I mean, it's difficult because shotgun is required, silent sentry required, fiber wire. I guess it is the measuring tape, so it's not necessarily part of the loadout. There is a space for a snail if needed. Mm, we shall find out very, very soon, I can imagine. That then has made it that, to the painter room. Yeah, and that is a snail indeed in Gork's inventory. It's going to be a very straightforward ISO from here. Just gonna take. Well, judging by the red icon there, still can't see it on the gameplay screen, but I guess from a minute or a minute from now, we should have the kill there. As that gets the painter disguise now. And he chooses to. Um, hide both of these bodies uh, since they are both also KO'd. No tranks needed from him. And uh, ooh, he will. Will he? It does look like it. Yeah, he will. No, no, okay, not. He kind of triggered the mission story, but not fully, so I'm not sure how that now breaks down with cycles or something. Yeah, I guess it didn't. Hmm. This might move, but I would I, I'm not sure exactly, but maybe the brick will overload it anyway. I would hope so for him. <laughs> there's the snail, there's the lure. All it takes now is to wait until Dawood's outside the range, bumps him so the bodyguards stop. Mm, that's there's all the of them, yeah. Dawood, a bit scared about all his bodyguards just dropping like flies. Eliminated even with the prompt. Going to hide him to an even safer corner. For the last kill and a first tie, first try. Stop 10 minutes Mumbai. That's a very strong shot from Gorg. Definitely, yeah. And he do, it looks like he's going to be picking up first two points of this match. As a reminder, this is a first to six match, meaning we'll see at least two more maps. And uh, yeah, Beardon can pick it up. We might see even more. Cork exited, press the done button, and I assume confirmation will come in very shortly since uh, I don't think there's sadly any a chance for Peter Dutton to catch up with this now. Just in game time wise, only two minutes behind Gorg, but um, that might be done. Deal two points for Gorg will secure him the first map. And uh, yeah, up next will be Hokkaido, Peter Dutton's map pick. Um, uh, yeah, let's catch a short break and look at the mission briefing for Hokkaido. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. 
Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Sodas, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gamma under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. And we are back with more advertisements and more maps of the Gorg vs. Peter Dunn RR12 winners. Back at round one match. I am still joined and the one on the infra fun. And uh, yeah, we'll make our way on to Hokkaido. Yep. Uh, I was definitely expecting this to be the shorter of the two first first two maps, the ones that were picked. But uh, it's uh, really nicely done by both. Gorg and Peter, Gorg with a 9.59, just six points ahead of uh, the 10 minute time. And I think Peter was on his way to get a 12-ish minute second try, which is really impressive as well. Indeed, my, uh, Mumbai, both very well played by them. Um, that was a Gorg's map pick, let's see now, we have Hokkaido, which is Peter Dutton's map pick, and maybe he can run it back, tie the score up two for two. Um, as he also, looking at the stats for a bit, would be favored going into this. Already having won Hokkaido once, Gorg only lost it once. Uh, neither played that against each other though. So, not sure how this will move out. Record with 2 minutes 39, that is kind of quick. Um, but who knows, maybe we'll see the perfect spin here. Yeah, just, just need a really... Streamlight spin for it, of course. Um, many Hokkaido speedruns with the uh, sub one minute strat. But uh, to chain in a second disguise into it, kind of rare there. And it's not going to be record either. What's the second spin, Curry? Uh, it is going to be Eric Sotis with a robot arms using the yoga, uh, with the yoga instructor, using the robot arms, and Yuki Miyazaki with drowning as the ninja. Ooh. I don't, I'm not sure if I've seen robot arms in a while on Hokkaido. Well, not in three months, but <laughs> you're, you're definitely right. I guess it's more tailored towards the iron kills, but now we will see the robot arms is the Kai uh, disabling and then the one, two, three, four in order into the, the panel up there. So look out for that and it might be the longer kill, but the Yuki kill will be the second one because you can't really do drowning before she rides the sun in hostile skies. Yeah, it would be it would be kind of tough uh, to like stalk all the way around the weapon with the ninja. I mean, he does technically like to s stay hidden and everything, but uh, not sure if the guards really appreciate that on the on this map. No, it would be hard to get around to the other bathrooms for sure. So yeah, we can see a ninja start from both, as expected, I guess. Um, yeah, only... <laughs> definitely the only option, and... I mean, there would be one other strategy to do this, just to... triple shot those cards, and then be able to get there eventually, or immediately. But neither will go to the morgue yet. Taking different routes, Gorg will go through the... The hospital area, I hmm. don't really see how or where, but it will actually get him to the morgue. Damn, so that's a nice... Very nice and unique way, or unique to me, I guess. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that too many times either. Um, 
Pyrodotin will also take a different path below the helipad, uh, get this one going, and I will take the path to the morgue through here. It just goes to show how nice of a Swiss cheese map Sokaido is, because the one route I expected to take to the morgue, I, I didn't see it from either side, and they just showed two different mechanics, two different modes. So at least there are three ways to get there, that with a little panic there, shooting the camera. You're changing the disguise, so that should be calmed, at least calmed a bit down now. <laughs> Or we'll now get the yoga instructor disguise. And I think this corridor will be visited by at least one doctor after Eric is dead, which is why it's such a good idea from Gork to uh, change the yoga instructor so that the body won't count against him in the end. Indeed. And he will. Looks like he'll use the. Um, path through the sauna to get into the the hospital area. He might, okay, he's still gonna take out this guy. He does need him later for the um, the Yuki kill, I assume you got that, need that bathroom to be empty. Exactly. Otherwise he'll always stay there and stand against the mirror and basically see everything. Yeah. I guess sauna timing also coming up relatively soon. So, uh, timing might be tight for Gork, and also Peter Dunton might be in a bit of a rush here. And judging that Gork now goes down to the sauna, I think it might still be a Yuki first kill for him now. I would say at this point, it's, it's definitely... It's, it's always safer to do Yuki first if you're not confident about uh, doing the Eric kill fully for the 4 minute mark. And I mean, it's probably one of the slowest, longest combos. You were instructor far away from the hospital, and robot arms, the longest kill, I guess. It makes sense to go Yuki first. Indeed. Peter Dunn also getting the yoga instructor now in the hallway where Gork got him, and I think he didn't trank him, so he does need to, uh, well, hide him somewhere now. But luckily, there's this little side room. Ooh. Okay. And, uh,. Nice, nice closet, big and comfy for a yoga instructor to sit in. <laughs> Three forty-five for Gorg right now, which means that yeah, Yuki is coming to the spa area and then into the sauna, and then it's gonna be a seeker shot. Um, not fully sure where the bodyguard stands. I think he would still make the drowning kill impossible. But Gorg also has a trank in hand, so he can get rid of the other body, meanwhile. Ooh, Peter with the trank, but it was compromised Did by Yuki herself. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure if that would have maybe gone green again after the kill, because it was only seen by Yuki so far. But he didn't want to risk it, he took the restart instantly. Now puts him at a big disadvantage. And while Gorg did get the trank, get that the, get, did get the seeker, and will now do the drowning on Yuki as the ninja. Yeah, just a very unlucky angle from Peter. Otherwise, it would be neck and neck. Gorg with a huge, almost five minute lead. Now it's time for soldiers to retire. Who also has the second disguise closer to the hospital and. Yeah, almost the evidence as, deleted. Yeah, sorry. As, as everything he needs, pretty much. Just needs to run up there and actually do the kill. Exactly. Uh, I think that requires two key hackers, but I think Gorb only has used one uh, to get, get through the utility room next to the sauna. Should be all fine. Gorb doesn't take the usual way up to the operating theater, and this one is the tougher one, because that guard will be looking towards him at all times, and Gorg is already going down the stairs, probably take the other one. Yeah, uh, I think with the, the robot arms, always one of the two stairs greatly favored over the others. 
Because with one of them, you pretty much have nobody standing in your way, just can run straight through. Uh, and with these ones, you can have lots of people standing in your way. Yeah, go on three skit and just go through the safe route. And after just the early restart, Peter is just in a bad spot, keeps restarting, just can't get this run going. But at this point, it's always going to be the, the first, the player with the first try, making or the ideal bit ability to succeed and uh, Egor is getting really close now. Indeed. Key hacker to open that. And another key hacker, last one, to open the server room. Now just pull the servers. <laughs> you do need to pull one server for the Indeed. restart to happen. Yep. Let's see. Can he remember? Can Gorg remember four numbers in a correct order? <laughs> One, three, four, and he has made it. Each chat counts, and they successfully counted to recite four numbers, and Gorg as well, which will net him the second kill and most likely the Hokkaido win. Indeed. Now we can see the, uh, maybe see, no, Gork will skip it. Ooh, what? Wow, what is, I've never seen that guard enter here. What was he doing there? Uh, that I, was very unfortunate for Gork. I, I cannot uh, place these two together because Well, well, I'm speechless. I just don't don't know what God would do or what where would he come from. He he's looked like he was investigating something, but I don't even know what he like. Yeah, what he was doing in there. Because the only two NPCs I could think of is of course the closest bodyguard there, who somehow goes investigate that room after. Yeah, you sabotage the Kai system, which never made him move before. And the other one would be such a rare appearance if it's the second bodyguard of Yuki, somehow on the move mm. and somehow exactly arriving at that room, which would be extraordinarily unlucky. That was be yeah, that's so unlikely. So I'm now worried about this kill in particular because I it's kind of made sense to me that. The guard would just come to investigate naturally. I, I, I don't know yet. I don't, we'll have to see the end of the second spin. Indeed. Now that puts both players in a pretty similar spot again now. Uh, with the late restart from Gurg. Peter Dutton being ahead by just a little bit. Um, still in his ninja near the sauna area. It's gonna set up Yuki now, I assume. Or just get ready for her. Yuki first, and then Eric. But I don't think, yeah, I, I don't see Peter taking care of the naked NPC in the toilet. I guess, I guess all three of them are naked to one extent. <laughs> kind of. That is very true, though. But I think, I mean, hmm, yeah, it's gonna be a tough time if we don't take him out before she goes in there, right? Yeah. I'm, I guess there would be a way to 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 make sure that he won't be a problem by making Yuki sick. But <laughs> it's all a hypothetical now. But <laughs> you make Yuki sick, you you KO the bodyguard, you hide the bodyguard away in in this side room, and then you throw and distract the last NPC outside. I think that would be a way. <clears throat> but this is much easier. What Peter does now. Definitely. Um, both players taking care of her. That that guy right there. Um, we need yeah. to find his name so we can refer to him from contracts mode. <laughs> For next sure. time. Oh, Peter blocking the door with a key hacker. I mean, he did hack the door anyways, didn't he? So it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I, I guess the ease of access to to make sure the door stays open while uh, he's aiming at her need to be. Be careful so there's no gun flash. Yeah, this time he waited until she actually stood in front of the sauna, so he looked. At, she looked away from him. 
<coughs> and we'll now get the crank shot and a, ooh, a thrown KO through the door. That also works. Perfectly timed, yeah, even through the door. Very neat kill by Peter, who will now definitely take the lead. Already had it, like a minute, of course, but now it's solidified and uh, Yugo Instructor is secured. So now we need to see the same ordeal which ripped Korg and hopefully it won't rip either of them anymore. Seeing Korg also waiting for Yuki to finally arrive at, arrive at the sauna. She is walking there currently. Curious to see what uh, directions Peter will take. Oh, as <laughs> that lady with, who's smoking and taking a break. I think for the first time in our history, she needs to be killed as well. But uh, that secures uh, the UK structure disguise for good now. Also, Gorg and, uh, did wait with the seeker shot longer this time, like Peter Dunn did. I guess that is the safest. Even if it costs five or so seconds, it doesn't really matter. Peter needs those two key hackers. I think he's aware of that. Mm, if he just climbs the pipe, that shouldn't be an issue, I think. Uh, yeah, that, that would be the solution here. Because this will also cost him one. Or not. You hacked it earlier, it seems. Okay, but that's gonna make it interesting here because he's definitely used the one in the sauna, right? I do think so, yeah. Hmm. So the only other option for him is to bring six key hackers because he definitely needs two more to get to the mainframe room and then get to the room outside with the panel that you can't, can't access either of them. It, or he's gonna grab the, the all access key card. That's also a thing, isn't it? Uh yes, that would be a trade of <laughs> one key hacker to the all access key hacker, right? Which yeah. no wait uh, Yes, the all access key card by Smith. I think so, yeah, isn't there one? I think so. It, it's kind of a locked dialogue, so it would be an option. I don't think we've seen it in RR yet. Would be dope, but maybe. Cause yeah, he it's... is out of key cards from what it's or key hackers from what it seems. My like Gork already in the mainframe again. There's an NPC running around to reach. He Gork oh. actually yeah, this is interesting. Gork managed to pull the correct server, so that means the, the sequence won't start yet. Maybe he'll get it in one try and don't, doesn't even need the reboot. He is definitely uh, confused about this now. Oh yeah. Also, I don't know, like, what did Gorg do the last time around? Did he train the same bodyguard? Because that could have caused the chaos, which resulted in his first week. But That's the second one train. correct by Gorg. 50-50 <laughs> chance now to get it first try. Ah! Unlucky. So close. So close to hitting the jackpot and winning 24 points along the way. <laughs> then making his way to round 4 immediately, but sadly, <laughs> did not happen. Hmm. I think, I think that now realizes the toughness of not having enough uh, key hackers is a bit... Well, he's, he's trying to get to the other control panel, but that's not what I want to say the robot arm skill. Currently looks like he's trying to do the, the kill that requires the um yeah the kill from the from the uh, chief surgeon or what's his name again i can't remember yeah chief surgeon okay and now gork did a snail for the one bodyguard that apparently comes in here which means it's consistent like hmm. I, I yeah i i guess be ready for this if you see a robot arm skill Dude, he waited for the kill to pop very smart and now he's probably gonna check, change this guy's to run. Get the hell out of here. Yep, now it's all legal and just a couple of enforcers to dodge. I think there's one near the helicopter, but... 
I guess maybe not even one last in uh, instinct shot and yeah Gorg is out with very nice second try. Need very well after a yeah a bit of troublesome Hokkaido does manage to uh, exit the map eight minutes in game time and will put him up to four zero match point for Gorg. Let's see if he can uh, yeah finish it up all the way on that Berlin and also have a quick break and look at the mission briefing for just that map. Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! Gray is gone. Go to Berlin. And stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. We've been compromised. Abort and walk away now. Who? ICA. They tracked me. Don't know how. It's what they do. How many? One prime asset and a whole pack of up and comers. They've infiltrated the club searching for us. Chris, I think I killed one of them. Get out now before they spot you. No. They found us once. They'll find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. And here we are again with the third map of the Gorg vs. Peter Dunn MP Road Rivals. 12 winners bracket round of one match. I am still joined by Infrafun. Still hello. And uh, yeah, we'll go to a Berlin as the possible final map for this match. Um, might just be... Yeah, that, because it is a match point for Gok. If he manages to win this map now, he will move on in the tournament and will face, I think, Fanium. Yeah, Fanium next round. Peter Dunn will drop to the lower bracket and face Hashashin 47 down there. Um, Perks of the first round is that it's always going to be the next or the match next to you in the winner's bracket, which gives you both the winners and a loser's bracket opponent. So it's a way to look at those. Not too uh, hard to catch. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, they're definitely tough opponents for both next round. Doesn't matter if you win or lose. I mean, Fenium definitely one of the. Favorites to win the tournament, but Heshin uh, gave a run for his money. Definitely, and yeah, next spin will arrive in just a couple of seconds. Infrafront, go ahead and run it down for us, please. Yeah, I will do that. And oh, nice to see uh, <laughs> how it's implemented on the uh, scene here. Five agents, of course. Sniper Rifle Club Security is one. Battle Axe Biker is two. But that kill must be done without target specification or no target KO, in short. Perfect. Number three is Screwdriver as Ross Hirschmuller. Number four is Old X as a bartender. And number five is Fall as a club crew. Interesting, the no target KO for, uh, introduced for this tournament to get rid of the um, throne versus melee the distinction on uh, melee weapons. Um, yeah, I guess Berlin with that disguise and that kill might be more a bit of more forgiving for that, uh, doing that live, but yeah, on some other maps that can really 
throw a wrench into the plans. Yeah, on, on the range of all no target KO kills ever, probably bad leg spiker will <laughs> be on the <laughs> easier end. Because I think that's what the Gorg is gonna do. Start his biker, get bad legs from uh, below the TV, and probably thrown KO temps before the 45 second mark. Yep, this looking back to get the bad legs. There it is. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> and we're even using it to destroy the camera. Also, a valid thing now. Locking onto cameras. And the Gorg definitely has, I guess, two options now. A bit late to get Thames with the bullet distraction, but the second position of Thames is also just as easy to get to. He looks to be out, or I guess the battle axe would be outside the range of the two uh, club securities, so you can just chuck the axe at him there. But it's gonna chain him for extra safety, which is nice. Yeah, just the bushes over there should be kind of nice, and he's gonna do it very melee. Um, that is a one kill done for Gorg. Four more to go. Meanwhile, Peter Devon just loaded into the map as a bartender. One of the required disguises. Also, a free one on the map, though. <laughs> I want to say that it's a bit unlucky for uh, Dutton uh, that it was a bartender, but not uh, for the man. He was practicing that, practicing a quick grab there. Fortunately, won't be part of this spin. And Gorg is getting the briefcase now with the sniper. Of course, uh, right, a couple quick kills are possible here because Fallen Club Crew, Fall S Club Crew from the rooftop for greens looks kind of a given. And then you can either uh, lure Banner up here and then eliminate him with the sniper rifle, scope security, or uh, or you leave him for later, <laughs> then just uh, get someone else. But you have the disguise here as well as the weapon. Cork gets the second kill. It's not the sniper, sorry, it's the whole mm -hmm. club crew. Almost. Yeah, but it looks like things he will lure Banner up. That's a lot of <laughs> shots, just definitely making sure he's interested in that. Yeah, looks good now. And just make sure you don't kill him with the big SMG <clears throat> by the sniper. What sniper is that? I don't think I've seen that actually. Uh, I think it's the Pride DLC from Seven Deadly Sins. Mm, okay, that makes sense. So makes sense why you don't see that often. Just yeah, rare choice. But Gorg wants to no scope, but has to resort to using the aim. But getting the third kill in just under three minutes is a very good start. Indeed, that's only two kills remaining. Old X bartender, Old X bit of the way needs to run and grab that. Screver Rolf, also disguise. Well, you do have to get down to the to the club for that, but should be. Very doable. Let's see. In the meantime, Peter Dunn did on it again as the bartender KO'd the delivery guy. It's now gonna. Oh, not not ring the doorbell. Uh, maybe he wants to do, um, grab a medic poison and do the. Uh, a, a medic, one of the. The biker, Lowenthal, I think it is. Yeah, it could be Lowenthal's food or uh, Davenport's drink, although Javenport wouldn't drink for another three minutes. But instead, Peter is going for this changer of Swan, and yes, he's the one who reacts. Going to be a very neat ISO there for. Uh, I guess any kill is liable here at this point. <laughs> Apart from Bad Legs Biker, because Swan is now KO'd, making him uneligible. That kill. Indeed. Um, let's see. Peter also now looks to uh, isolate Tams. Yeah, racking up those uh, knockout isolations, which is fine. You only need one life kill. So up to four, you can just 
Okay, I'm secure in time. Corvid a little uh, uh, heat maps check for the screwdriver, he went past it. But uh, now he has it, and of course Rolf won't be too hard either. Although he will be trespassing in the office, just reference. I think that will be hurt if, yeah, thrown with a screwdriver, he decides against it. Can you... New isolation I've seen. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Oh, it actually gets Rolf instantly. Okay. Yeah, that's just the perfect uh, distance away from those three NPCs. The two bikers are outside of the range. Because otherwise they would be called in to investigate. So that's a good disguise. And uh, thankfully for Gork, there's no one on these stairs. The two bikers will leave to smoke soon enough. That is true, <laughs> but that now might pose an issue because I do think he'd like to get Montgomery on those stairs, but now can't because the bikers will walk those stairs up in a second. Yeah, I think he had that dilemma as well. Uh, and that's interesting. Devonport just about hears that. But who will investigate it? Crowbar throw. It will be the regular guard, sadly, not the target. Or with still two kills remaining, both can be KO'd. The old X is a big chip, but now has everything for the Rolf kill. And uh, <laughs> Bro has briefly the camera. Rock is right. That's a, <laughs> that's a lot of cameras uh, destroyed with the throw. Indeed. And also, Peter Dan currently red. I'm not sure who he's red from. I assume it's a target. Um... <laughs> Uh, I would certainly hope so for him. It would be better after the triple shot. Oh, that makes perfect sense. <clears throat> that's definitely cause for red. I hope that's the only cause for red. Because, uh, yeah, anything else it's trouble. But Dutton will now begin the kills here in quick succession. First up, up group four. Indeed. That is a one down for Peter Dunn. Let's see... Uh, what is going to be up to next? He has club security, biker, and bartender nearby. The sniper, I'm not sure about. Uh, where that would be on the map. Or on his map, of course, there's one near Tremaine. Old X is definitely a bit away, but screwdriver can be acquired as well. An elaborate chain lure for Gorg to, to get uh, uh, Lohenthal. I'm still not sure about the names. I Lohenthal think, in this security yeah. room. Loud, but doesn't matter with the door in front of his face. That's another kill down. At only one more kill for Gorg. Bartender Old X. Uh, what options are there? I think Swan, since he's walking and. Or, I mean, still, he's still up, but with a short cycle, it's not going to be a problem to isolate him. The bartender, of course, not too far away from here. Yeah, none of the, like, super free targets are there anymore, I guess, for good work. Uh, still, of course, a lot that are pretty manageable. Or gets the keys for the exit. Doesn't want to sweat <laughs> about it after the fifth kill. Yeah, this is one of the places to isolate Swan, but decides against it, and now he's walking, and I think he wants. Ah, okay, I met a grass grenade. That's <laughs> that sorts it. Definitely, you're just gonna emetic Swan, get him back here. And I assume run off to get the old X and bartender. Yep. In the meantime, if any, anyone feels in the rush, uh, you could make uh, Swan sick, and then in that one minute plus working time, you could get the old X and then quickly the bartender <laughs> as well. But I think Org will just 
I mean, yeah, deep in the Berlin spin, I couldn't blame him. Probably just do the isolation first. Take get two items needed. Indeed, there's the throw and the hit. And someone's gonna be here in just a second. Meanwhile, Pirdan is walking around the uh, club crew area and has picked up the battle axe and has a seeker in hand looking at Lowenthal. <clears throat> I assume. Yeah, good decision. Yeah, him for the life kill, probably. Tough nice. shot, but did hit it. Yeah, no, no one saw it. And it barely, but hit Lowenthal. As Gorg got the fifth and last KO. I guess fourth and last KO. <laughs> uh, the biker couldn't be isolated. So now I just need the. Well, the X and the free part in the disguise. That is the kill for Peter Dutton. Four to two in terms of kills, but it's all in Gork's hands now. And not a lot of places to rip. Of course, he's not out of the woods yet. I guess literally as literally well. Literally even, yeah. <laughs> Needs to find the world X at the end of the concrete pipe. Which is the second place he goes. Not quite. It could cost him a little bit of time, but luckily it's not that close of a match. Dutton still has two kills to go. Probably about three or four minutes behind. I think Gork was just looking up where the old axe is specifically again. It is inside this old pipe. Yeah, it gets the egg, very important. Throws the egg, good luck. Uh, crazy for Daisy, he did KO the bartender target. Yeah, he did a KO swan is... near the toilets, exactly. Yeah, which is all fine. Ah, of course, the battle axe was the no KO kill, the old axe. I, I can see the confusion there, the two X kills didn't line up for me just <laughs> yet. But it's all fine on Gorgs and it could be another first try. Would this be two first tries and the very strange rip, unexplainable rip on Hokkaido, so an almost perfect game for Gorg? I think so, yeah. It's very impressive, although he's kind of locked himself out of the bartender area. Now he's back. Probably want to place the world X first and then go for the bartender since it's an illegal carry. I would assume so, yeah. I guess if you're in a rush, you might try to like somewhat juggle it there, but here at currently, I think it's just safer and easier to play it safe and uh, place it and get the, yep, yeah. get the disguise, get the kill and get out. Yeah, that's perfect. <clears throat> Free bartender is guys for Gork. He's on his way. Meanwhile, Piran did KO Tremaine now. Um, <laughs> yet another KO. KO'd buddy for him. I feel like at this point he might have more KO'd buddies than kills remaining. But now that he's done not target KO killed, he's free to do whatever with the other targets as I'll mark the fifth and last kill for Gorg, who has the keys as well. To be super safe. That's the last body hidden still, Green Guns, and Gorg for the first time in Rural Tribal's history gets a sweep. And his third game win after RR10 and RR11. Also starts R12 with a win. And his finest one so far, for sure. Indeed, a 6-0 sweep from Gorg over Peter Dutton as he drives off with the bike from um, from Berlin. Press the done button. Just need to see those five stars SA as we do right there. And Gorg, yeah, has done it, has won this match. Very nicely done. Um, remaining maps would have been... Um, Miami, Santa Fortuna, and Paris as a tiebreaker. 
uh, but it didn't go there anywhere. And uh, yeah, very well nice to play from both of them, however. Had some close calls on the first maps, so this last one, not uh, yeah, not a walk in the park for IRL, either of them. But in the end, Gorg was able to pull ahead and win the match. Let's have a quick look at the brackets and see how that changes up things. Right. <coughs> With this win, um, Gorg will move on to round two of the winner's bracket and face off against Thalium, match number 28. Uh, tough, tough player in the tournament, definitely a tough match coming up. For him, the other side tournament isn't over for Peter Dunton just yet. He will drop down to the lower bracket and face Hashashin47 in the loser's round one. Uh, also definitely a match to look out for. And uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at the upcoming matches as well. As well, this, this early in the tournament we do still have lots and lots of upcoming matches. Uh, next one does take a bit though, and just seven hours, it's gonna be Channel Joint versus FE302 um, on Hokkaido and Chongqing and several more which aren't displayed here just yet. Um, yeah, 18 o'clock Central European Summertime and two hours after that at 20 o'clock Central European Summertime we have Leopold versus Teenord playing on Haven Island and Colorado. Uh, also a banger match to watch out for. Uh, Three and a half hours after that, we see the Observer, or that Observer, versus the Reaper 47 on Ambrose and Colorado. And uh, yeah, we got some more matches in the early morning on Monday. Myself versus Look It's Me on Chongqing and Dartmoor at uh, exactly midnight tonight. And uh, Time Cube versus Moo 2, 2 a.m. tomorrow on Woodland Creek and Sapienza. More matches on Monday. Uh, a list of all upcoming matches can, as always, be found on hitmaps.com. And, uh, yeah, I guess at this point, the only thing I have left to say is uh, to thank you all for watching. Thanks to the two players for playing, obviously, and congratulations to Borg for winning this match. Um, thanks to Infofund for co-casting and adminning this match for us. Thanks for having me. I had great fun. Yeah, always welcome. Hope we can cast some more this tournament. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah... I thank you all for watching and uh, see you soon, hopefully. Goodbye.